There's a little trick to factoring quadratics when there's a coefficient from the x squared. Um, there's an easy way, or way to do this than some teachers teach. And basically the process to factoring is really nice, is you take this number and this number, multiply them, and you get negative 24. So you take these two numbers, multiply, get negative 24. And you take the middle number and it drops to the bottom. Now, so again, you take these two, multiply, this drops to the bottom. Then you go, what two numbers multiply to get this and add to get this? And if you do some problem solving, you'll notice that, oh, that would be 6 and negative 4. 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. 6 plus negative 4 is 2. So to factor this, your answer is simply x plus 6, x minus 4. Those two numbers. But here's the trick. This little 8, because I had to multiply the 8 by the negative 3 to get the top, I have to then go and divide both of these by 8, which 6 over 8 is 3 fourths. And for this one, you get x minus 1 half. 4 over 8 is 1 half. So your answer, well, your answer just isn't technically fractions. So what you do is you take these bottom pieces and move them up. So your final answer is 4x plus 3 and 2x minus 1. So it's a really cool way of doing it. Um, it relates to this called the diamond method. And so again, you just multiply front and back, get the top, and then this goes on the bottom. And it's a really cool way to factor these. And not all teachers teach it this way. Now let me show you a little story. This is kind of a gross story, but I'm going to give it to you and see if you like it to help you remember this process. Here we go. How do we get this top number? Well, you have to think of it as you squeeze these two together and you poop out the two. Squeeze these together, the two pops out, dumps, take a dump. Now, you gotta find your two numbers. Now, so that pops out. It, it, the way this pooping idea, it's kinda stupid again, helps is you, these squeeze, this pops down. Helps you remember that. Second of all, here, a lot of people stop at the red and forget to divide by the eight in here in front. And my way of reminding you is, hey, you forgot to wipe. See, we wiped. The 8 had to come in, divide back out. So we had to wipe both of these clean. After you take a dump, you got to wipe. Then, after you wipe clean, you got to reduce. Okay, so start keep cleaning up. You got to clean things up. And then lastly, you got to pull up your pants. If there's anything, all the remainders, everything on the bottom has to be pulled up. If we have a denominator that can be pulled up, so you got to pull up your pants, and then you're done. So you got to squeeze, dump, you got to wipe, you got to clean it up, and you got to pull up your pants. It fits a nice little scenario. It's disgusting, but it helps some students remember.